Hello human beings, welcome back to the Manga Slice. We have another month of manga. It is insane. I got so much cool stuff. I got new stuff, different stuff, tried some stuff, dropped some stuff. So we got definite stinkers in here. We got an unboxing and we may even have something special. But if I told you what it is, it wouldn't be special. So we won't know if it's actually special. Stay tuned till the end. I got a couple things cooking and I got a couple questions for you. But enough of that, let's get into it and look at this sweet manga haul right now. Okay, here we are, Manga Sloth Hand Cam time, the best time of the month. We're gonna get straight into it and I'm gonna show you 15 volumes of something some of you may have seen already. If you are not familiar, definitely check out my Instagram. I do post different things there. And one thing I posted was a reel of me opening this manga. And that manga is none other than The Ultra Man. So I got Ultra Man 1 through 15. Now I have some backlog of manga. Some things enter my household later than they should. And this one did. I bought this actually off of another manga tuber named Nas Manga. Definitely check check him out and here I'll just show you the covers on these all the backs look like this so I'm actually just gonna show you the covers here they have some sweet covers and the spines are actually really nice looking also this series is super sweet from what I hear and I'm pretty excited about getting into it if you know more about this series and you think it stinks or you think it's awesome please enlighten the sloth I would like to know your opinions on this but there is that 15 volumes of that goodness then we have kaiju number eight number two a little behind on this but I did read volume two and I enjoyed it and then berserk of gluttony number five still enjoying this series Prince Freya, number six. I feel like these don't come out very much each year. I could be wrong, but these have definitely been few and far between since it started. And also, like I say, every time, if you see something here that you wanna know more about, or you wanna talk to me about, or you like or dislike, definitely let me know down in the comments or in my Discord or anywhere you can reach me because I will talk to you about manga all day long. Then there's Exo Drive, the Reincarnation Games, number two. This is a crazy series. It's looking like it's just gonna be a big ball of fun and craziness. Golden Japanesque, number five. I really, really appreciate Appreciate the covers and the spines on these the color choices they're picking are just wonderful they're just so much different than most everything else I see on my shelves and then we have the strange adventure of a broke mercenary number three this series started off kind of slow almost droppable if I was just rating number one number two got a smidge better and number three got definitely better than volume one and two so I have high hopes for this but also if it just sputters or gets worse it is getting nuked one thing that is not getting nuked anytime soon is the new gate this is volume 9 I appreciate the covers on these one piece books does a pretty good job with their prints and this one feels good so congrats then there is chainsaw man number 10 a series that I am the only person reading at the moment no one has ever heard of it so everybody watching this now is your first time. This is actually a manga. Then there is Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts 15. This is a chunky one. This one is a chunky volume. And the reason being is it is complete. This is the final volume in this. And from what I know that my wife has said, she extremely enjoyed this series. And we will be talking about it a little more in an upcoming episode so stay tuned because i think more people need to be pushed on to this it is very good speaking of very good we got peach boy riverside the prequel to apple girl oceanside it is a very good manga i'm enjoying it and i'm always happy to see kodansha's print quality is still the same excellent then we have monster guild the dark lords no good comeback number one and two i will say i do like the covers on these this cover is kind of nice it is a seven seas it is a reincarnation type 
Izakai thingamajig and this one at the moment is getting dropped. I'm going to keep it and we'll see where it goes in the future. People can push me on it or get me back into it. Maybe I'll try it out again but as it is right now volume one was a chore to get through and volume two was just not any better. It just was like rushed. Not great. Then there is suppose a kid from the last dungeon boonies moved to a starter town. A nice quick one word title. I got one through three here. The covers on these are just, you know, vibrant and just full of action and stuff going on. They look really nice. I actually had number one here sitting in my TBR for, geez, I wanna say closer to a year, probably. And I finally just one day was like, you know what, put up or shut up, I'm reading volume one. And it was a lot more wordy than I thought. It was a slower read. And I actually enjoyed volume one. So I tried number two, I enjoyed it, tried number three, and it's, I feel like it's getting a little worse, but hopefully it just keeps moving forward and getting better or it'll get dropped. Then there is Yakuza Reincarnation. Just been on like an Izakai binge. It's hard. When you first get into Izakais, you're just like, oh, this is sweet. And then you just start reading a zillion more and then you start picking up every more and Seven Seas just creates a billion every day. So it's kind of getting exhausting. Yakuza Reincarnation, volume one. This stunk. I did not like this. I apologize. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who really like this. Maybe it's just me. Not great. Maybe it'll get better. Maybe it won't. I, I It might be another one volume at a time type deal. But as it stands right now, this is on its last leg. Then we got No Matter What You Say, Furry San is Scary. This is a little bit of a thinner volume here. My wife is reading this one. She does like this manga. I think a lot of people would enjoy this. She said it has Comey Can't Communicate vibes, if that means anything. Oh man, we are just hitting like a Izakai type lump here. We got Bofuri. I don't want to get hurt so I max out my defense. This one is like a feel good, slice of life type video game Izakai type deal. And this one is pretty enjoyable. <sighs> I can just sit back, relax, and read a slice of life type Izakai. It's got battles and the, that feeling that you want and stuff going on, RPG type deal. And it's just funny, cute. It kind of reminds me of Kuma 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 Bear, but obviously it's definitely not the same. It's just like a slice of life type feel good one. It, it's it's pretty good. I like it. And then I tried ReZero. If you are following me on Instagram, you may have seen me ask this month about this series, if it's good or not, and then what the heck order do I read it in? Because I'm seeing lots of ones and twos and threes that are all different. And this is actually ReZero, Starting a Life in Another World, Chapter 1. That's Volume 1 and 2 in the Chapter 1. So this is complete, but still ongoing. And then here is Chapter 2, Volume 1. These were okay. This one I didn't like almost until the end. So I'm going to just read it like one at a time and see where it goes before everyone says I will not read the light novels. I don't have time. If I added light novels on my TBR, good luck hearing me talk about them for five years probably. <laughs> I'm gonna read the manga. It's quicker, it's easier. I'm sorry if the story is worse and I'm sure it is from the light novel but we're gonna read the manga, at least for the time being. Hopefully the last Izakai for a while in the hall is I got caught up in the Hero Summons, Volume 1. This is getting dropped. Did not like Volume 1, not worth my time, very boring, in my opinion, and maybe not what I'm looking to read. Maybe someday in the future if it's complete or something and it's amazing, maybe I'll pick it up, but probably not. This is a uh, drop for now. Then we got DBZ, the complete box set hype hype and we're gonna crack it open here look at that beauty we all know dbz and it's crazy it is crazy that i do not own dbz i'm a big dbz fan i'm a big dragon ball and dbz fan and i grew up watching it on tv and it's a part of my life and very special to me in helping me get into anime manga and stuff like that but i've never owned any of DBZ and it's because as we kind of know it's more f 
for some people it's more of a nostalgic type deal and that's what this purchase was it's possible I will read it someday not at the moment it's more of a nostalgic buying it because I don't want to be hunting for it in a year or two so here we go you gotta love the connecting spines they're just wonderful you got no boo you got no boo on the spines. You got your piccolo the whole way up to cell and then Goku at the end. And then you got a couple special things here that we'll look at. You got a little poster, Frieza, Goku, Trunks and his daddy, and then Goku and all their big hair. Then you got this little book with some extras in it, super neat. But I'm happy I finally have this in my collection and I plan on getting Dragon Ball and then I will definitely get uh, DBZ Super, probably if that gets a box set or something someday. Definitely not high on the list, but we got this and we bought this from Takara Cafe. Tried that site out for the first time a couple videos ago. I have an affiliate link down below, so check that out if you want to buy cheap manga. And we're gonna show two at once, even though they're both different, but sort of the same. We got the Ancient Magus Bride Wizards Blue number four, and the Ancient Magus Bride Jack Flash and the Fairy Case Files number four. Both in the Ancient Magus Bride world, but not specifically connected to that story or storyline. So these are separate things going on and the wife enjoys these so far and we know the Ancient Magus Bride comes out pretty miserably slow. So it's nice having things that are related to it and close to it. Here's a series that I thought was over at volume three. Now I don't know where I got this information. Volume three of Can't Stop Cursing You has a Death Note feel to it, obviously very different, but this series is pretty good and going strong. And I just, I just wanna apologize to any Canadian viewers. If there's any Canadian sloth watchers out there $17 I apologize and then you have tax and stuff I apologize I apologize I'm sorry I'm sorry Yen Press is doing this to you I am sorry I am sorry then we have Geo or Gyo however you want to pronounce it and this is another one that maybe some people are surprised that they're even seeing me show right now I have 2,000 plus manga, I have plenty of Junji Ito stuff, and why don't I have Gyo? I don't know. <laughs> I just never picked it up. But I am trying to pick up the rest of the Junji Ito stuff that I'm missing because I have so much of it, and while Junji Ito stuff is not my favorite, I think most of it is mid or below mid, not that great. I have so much of it and the hard co hardcovers are so nice, I'm just gonna pick them all up. I bought this off of a Manga Sloth fan on Reddit Manga Swap. So shout out to Certified Hunted. Thanks my dude for hooking me up with this volume. Came in nice and crisp and clean. No damage whatsoever. Awesome. Then there's Karate Survivor in another world. Sometimes I feel like I am a sloth survivor in another world. I just forgot all the cool karate stuff I could do. This series is actually really good. I read volume one and I thought, okay, not the worst, not the best, but man, I am digging this. I'm digging the art style and I'm digging the story so far and how like not over the top and just like ridiculous it is. It's pretty good. And, I, and if I had a giant stack of this, I'd just probably read it all. Put everything else on hold. This is good. Uh, more people should check it out. Here's one that's been making the rounds that we've been seeing people show off, take pictures of, talk about, make videos. Well, now it's the sloth's time on camera to tell you what he thinks and to blow your minds. So, Sakamoto Days Volume 1 was all right. So, next up, we got Defeating Dungeons with a Skill Board. This this one's pretty fun. It's a decent series and I feel like it's going to be really awesome the more it goes along. This one's a fun one. Then we have People Sitting on Chairs Volume 7 
we know this series. Not much to talk about here. If you do want to know anything about it, I will hook you up with some knowledge, but it's good. Then we have Record of Ragnarok Volume 2. This is a fun one for sure. I'm really, I'm really liking this one. It kind of feels like Fist of the North Star to me. Maybe not as good as Fist of the North Star, but kind of like a, I turn my brain down low, I read through it, and I just have a fun time. You know, maybe not specifically shut my brain off, but it is fun. Then there is Solo Leveling number four. This might be the first volume of Solo Leveling that has not had damage on it. So hip hip hooray. Uh, Throw me a thumbs up down in the chat for the first ever solo leveling Manga Sloth has ever bought that didn't have damage on it. Thank you, Yen Press. This is the only volume in existence without chip stings or dents in it. And if anyone else has one, they're lying. My wife picked up Sayonara Football 1 and 2 and she read them and she likes them a lot. This is a series I feel like I've seen but I don't know anything about. Obviously it is, it says football, but it's soccer, which is the correct name for it in Europe and blah, blah, blah. In America, we play hand egg. One thing I'll ask is, I didn't look into it, but number three and beyond have different colored spines. They're not this red, they look different. And the name of them changed to Sayonara Football something, something, something underneath. Let me know if you know what that means or if they just decided to change it for some reason, just for aesthetic reasons or, or something, I don't know. Let me know. Then we got Boys Run the Riot 1 through 4. This one was super buzzing on all the platforms a while back. I don't know if it still is, but it is complete at four volumes. So if you want a quick, nice series that is only four volumes, this might be the series for you. Gonna be talking about this in an upcoming video also, so stay tuned. I want more people to know a little more about this if you don't. Then we got Queen's Quality 6 through 13. Now these are some of the other volumes I got off Takara Cafe. This is the same series as QQ Sweeper, Volume 1 and 2, if you've ever seen that. I think that they just had a name change to Queen's Quality, which makes more sense, because that's what QQ means. and. Sweeper actually means something in this series. I don't want to spoil it, but these covers look pretty sweet And this series is obviously good because we own all that is out at the moment Definitely check this one out. Then we got another Kageki Shoujo. This is number five a little bit behind I think is six is pretty close to coming out Really fun series. Then there is the King's Beast Volume 6, still ongoing with this one. Dees. Speaking of Dees, we got Twin Star Exorcist 23 and 24 here. There's a lot of these. And I didn't notice this. They do chibis of all of them on the back. That's pretty cool. This series is real good. The art and the battles are super awesome. Then there is Ragna Crimson number 5. I still feel like people are sleeping on this series. This series is good. Some parts of it, I will say, you need to slow down a little bit and read a little slower because it gets a tad complicated if you're just blazing through it. But it's great, the art is great, and I'm really liking this series. Next up is For the Kid I Saw in My Dream 6 and 7. These are hardcover, obviously. This is made by the creator of Erased, which more people may be familiar of. And I know he came out with a new series that's ongoing also at the moment. Uh, I forget what it is, but I plan on picking it up. This is still ongoing. People do not sleep on this one either. It is intense. It is emotional. If you know what a race is, just imagine that type of deal. It's not the same, but it's emotional. The guy likes tugging on heartstrings and making you feel things, which is good. But this series is very good so far. Recommend it. Then we got something special. One Piece Volume 100, the French edition. This is not in English. And this is their special edition with the gold and the extra dongle thing here, whatever the heck that is. And it's like in a leather 
uh, binding wrap. I have not opened this, and I don't think I will. I just got this to collect. I'm a big One Piece fan. At the time of this, only 99 is out in One Piece. 100 is not out yet, but I decided I wanted to pick this one up for a little bit of a collector's type deal, and I really like it. Now people, I want to tell you real quick, at the time of filming this, I am planning on a couple videos coming up. Please stay tuned for another collection video. My collection has grown a metric fudge ton and I am struggling on putting it all together to get it out but I will get it out very soon here next up I want to hear from all of you down in the chat let me know if you have got this far in the video first of all so thank you for that I want to know down below if you are interested at all in some YouTube live streams where I connect and talk to you guys and we talk about manga what's going on things like that I want to interact with you a little more and also through my discord and do some more things that way but I also want to do some more collabs and things with other people doesn't matter who and more giveaways I love doing giveaways and I love giving manga back to the people so please let me know down below if there's people you want me to collab with and make sure you go and tell them see if they're interested or get some hype going thank you all for watching I appreciate you all talk to me down in the comments in my discord or on my Instagram for different content and things like that and I'll see you all next time